welcome to the Bartender Video Tutorials. In this video, we are going to introduce you to the concept of printing serial numbers. Often when printing labels, the need arises to keep track of the item that is being labeled with a unique identification number that is part of a series. Serial numbers are a series of numbers in either an increasing or decreasing sequence. One method to create this kind of identification number is serialization. Let's look at how Bartender can help you assign serial numbers to your document using its built-in serialization feature. Here we have a label document with a text object that says ID number. Suppose this label is for a particular product and we want to make sure each product has a unique identification number in sequence. Let's open up the properties dialog for this ID number object and take a look at what we can do with it. First, Let's add a new embedded data source to our object for the actual number. We know that we will be producing thousands of units of our product, and with each label that prints, we want this number to increase by one. This way, each label's number is unique. If we open up the Transforms tab in the Text Properties window, you will see that we have a transform for serialization. Let's open the Serialization Transform and take a look at what we can do with it. First off, we can choose to increment or decrement. For our purpose, we will go ahead and count up from 1. The method gives us the option to use either numbers or letters or to use a combination of numbers and letters. If we click on the Preview Sequence button at the bottom of the dialog, we can see what the sequence will look like. If we select an option that uses letters, we need to designate whether the letters are uppercase or lowercase. Bartender is case sensitive and if at any time you enter in a character that does not match the case sensitivity, Bartender will not recognize the letter and will effectively stop serializing. We can check the Preserve the Number of Characters option if we have a predetermined length for the serial number. Here, we can select how much we want to increment by. The arrows at the side of the field allow us to adjust this number. For our purposes, we will increment by 1. This next section allows us to determine when we want the serial number to increment. We can choose different types of trigger events that will cause the serial number to increment. The standard event allows us to use the print dialog to set when to increment. Let's take a quick look at the Reset tab. The Reset tab allows you to set a point at which the serial number will reset to its original value and start over again. Now that we have set up the serialization transform, let's see it in action. When we open the print dialog, we have a couple of options that pertain to serialization. First off, we have the ability to set the number of serial numbers. This sets the quantity of labels with the same serial number that we are printing. If we select three, we will get three unique serial numbers, one on each label. When we click the preview button at the bottom of the print dialog, we can see that we have three pages. And if we page through them, we can see that each has a unique ID number. Let's go back to the print dialog and look at one more thing. You will notice that we also have the option to select the number of copies per serial number. If, for whatever reason, we need multiple copies of the same serial number, we can set that up in the print dialog as well. Now, when we look at the preview, we can see that there are six pages to the document. We have two copies of each of our three serial numbers. You can see that after printing, the serial number on the template automatically updated to the next number in the series. After each print job that uses the serial number, you need to make sure you save the document to preserve the serialization. If I close this document and neglect to save it, Bartender will not remember where it left off. As you can see here, our document has the first serial number on it. Let's set up our document to print again, the same as we did before with two copies of each serial number. Then we print, so the serial numbers increment in the document. Now, when we close it, we choose to save the document when prompted. The next time we open the document, we see that it displays the next serial number in the series. To quickly recap, in this video, we looked at how to create a unique identification number for a document using the serialization transform. We showed you how to print multiple serial numbers with multiple copies in the print dialog and emphasized the importance of saving your document after each print job to preserve serialization. If you still have questions about this process, consult the Bartender Help System or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.